Hello. Welcome. Welcome, my cadets. To the pre-stream. I will bet we got a couple things to go over before the actual gameplay. So I'm sure a lot of y'all are curious, you know, like, man, there, why are you at this, you know, the ball lands like train station? Well, on Earth, tomorrow, y'all have the 4th of July. I hope y'all all have some great plans for the 4th. For the rest of the cosmos, we have the Galactic, obviously, Festival of Peace. Well, er, in the uh, uh, greater scheme of the universe, we, uh, have peace. Due to the efforts of CE Next Gen and all their operations. I only played a small part, even though I was a great help, along with my team. Now, oh, why am I here? Well, I'm on site on mission. You see, as tomorrow's the festival here in the, uh, obviously, you ball lamb, technically the uh, planet of seed. There's four planets in the cosmos that celebrate this celebration each and every year. I will admit, we're about to go over the Galactic Leyline map as I'm about to explain a bit of history. Each one of these planets, only eight of them that have life, celebrate this overall festival of universal peace. I know it may not be seen fair to all of you on Earth, as in the US y'all have the 4th of July and the rest of the cosmos, you know, kind of have the act at universal peace. So, uh, let's actually move in a bit. And move me across. And it kind of be needed. Alright. So, this is the galactic map. As best I can do it. It's not accurate. But it is what it is. You see a slew of, obviously, galactic planets. Each and every one of these planets are on a certain colored charter. To the north. The north. The north. Going to the north. Where are the home? See it is. There's quite a couple of planets. It's screaming with life. You have planet El Vaults. Obviously, it's the home world of Greta Marjorie. Uh, on Earth, y'all know this planet to be a part of Tales of the Abyss. Next, you have planet Lady. And planet Gwendolyn. They're in the same cosmos as planet El Vos is found in this cosmos where you see the arrow at. Planet Lely and Gwendolyn are found here. These two planets have been at constant disagreement. Let's put it gentle. To be ungentle, that they have been at at war for a long time. Planet Gwendolyn is the home of Geo Strider. My uh, one of my mini e teammates slash obviously best friends. Next, you have Gala and Spira, home of obviously Cloud. And Yuna. 
They're found in this cosmos. This is universe is where they are found. And I dare say two planets are aware of their existence many of centuries if not uh, millennia but they really didn't come in contact with each other beforehand until obviously seed open peaceful relations between the two of them and help them advance their planets with new technology. Oh, FYI, we, well, caused universal peace. Not by force, but by peace treaty. Next, you have Planet Lunar Tora, the home world of Seed, where I'm currently located. On mission, of course. Planet Lunar Tora is the go to planet each and every year for the Galactic Festival of Peace. Next, we go all the way over to the east. The east has three populated worlds. You have planet R and Terra, found in this galactic quadrant. As, yeah, pretty much, that's where you can find them. You have planet Vendel, found over here in this quadrant. The universe it's in has got a lot of deadly gases. If you're not careful, like, your ship can take a lot of damage if you end up in a gas pocket. Or that a combustible star. It is a very volatile universe to travel. We have... Oh, Galaxy! Why would anyone want to destroy South Galaxy? There's three planets in the South Galaxy. You have planet Earth-13, you got planet Lemire, and Grand Pulse and Crystal. Please, uh, I forgot two of them are in one galaxy. Uh, these two planets are kind of forgettable. So, Earth is found here in the Milky Way galaxy. Fair enough. Planet Lemire is over here in the Stardust galaxy. E quadrant. Then you have Grand Pulse and no Nova Chrysla. Nova Chrysla is found somewhere over here, and Grand Pulse is somewhere over here on the far edge. I will mention these two ooh, planets are very unique, but they're considered two of the most dangerous as they have the most uh, life-threatening fiends upon them. Fair enough. Next, we have the West Quadrant of the Universe. This quadrant is practically almost completely void of life. All the planets are nearly dead. Unfortunately. There's only two galaxies. There's only one galaxy with two planets. And it's this one over here. Planet Hobbiton and Planet Elitus. Two planets, obviously. Planet Hobbiton is more of a cold populated planet. Mostly covered in snow and ice and all that kind of stuff. Planet Nova Crystal is closer to the sun as Planet Hobbiton is a bit farther away. These planets are the only ones dreaming with life. This cosmos is considered its sun to be too hot and causes constant and fluctuation of heat. It's because of the instability of this star ended all existence. Over here, this quadrant is quite big. This one's known to have uh, the most deadly pockets of gases in the universe. As a matter of fact, many millennia ago, the gases were harvested for this planet for fuel, for uh, seeds, obviously ships. But it is considered too volatile and dangerous these days, as all seed ships are now powered by a solar fusion 
Nova Core. So, yeah. Uh, no need anything like deadly gases or even that of fossil fuel for our ships. Basically, imagine, uh, imagine a giant round crystal infused with solar and Nova energy to power all technology and ships. So, this is the Galactic Ley Line chart. I will mention that this is the universe I live in. Now, without further ado, so, the Galactic Festival of Peace. Four main planets are known to have it. Obviously, here in Terra, in the North Quadrant, you have the Edge uh, of Cocoon, you have the uh, Edge Planet Hobbiton, and finally, you have the Edge uh, of Over the Air in the Quadrant and to the East. What was it again? I always forget the East Quadrant. At times. Right, it's Planet Terra. That uh, defaultly holds this festival each and every year. But, there's four other planets that are chosen at random through a hat pick out that also oh, hosts a festival of galactic universal peace. Only eight planets in a galactic year whose overall we have this festival or core planets and four guest planets. Such events, such as obviously drinking, eating, parties, games, entertainment, such as music, uh, various other er, factors. Enjoyment is celebrated. Of course, seed is spread thin at this time. Any and all seed personnel are pulled off the rack, <laughs> in a way, as we are very given protection detail and, and reconnaissance at these festivals. Even ones retired such as I, I need to be here. As it's very important for the Galactic uh, Peace Festival to go out, out without a hitch of, of problem. We usually get our usual riffraff. You know, people that get a little bit too drunk. You know, obviously get a little bit out of control. All that kind of stuff is quite well known. And overall, it's not unheard of. People do get rowdy, yo. But from behind the scenes here on the planet, and as the festival happens, there's also a massive meeting at the Ball Am Garden. Uh oh, headmasters, grandmasters, and political masters from the four gardens and the four quadrants meet here. As they talk about certain subjects, I can only understand, I can only imagine how Ashi's being drove mad about the political all, all talks and structure. I'm not very uh, much a political old type guy. I was nominated after my retirement to be a headmaster or even a grandmaster, but not a political. I'm not good with political agendas. It's not my forte. My forte is battle, combat, strategy, you know, all that kind of stuff. I'm a warrior, not a political leader. And I'm also like a team leader. But despite all that, I turned down that position. I just want to enjoy my retirement while also entertaining the masses again. I don't know what to tell you. I like entertaining you people. Even though I've known to make mistakes. But despite all that, I'm here on location. 
Tomorrow's the festival, and I'm gonna have to be on guard. But luckily, I am planning to stream within the ball lamp. And the headmaster sits office for all of you people. Now, each and every planet in the cosmos is numbered. There's a common misconception of misinformation. As people are led to believe there's different variants of Earth. <laughs> oh, how naive y'all are. Now, you see, the planets are numbered in the cosmos. Obviously. For one reason. When intelligent life was born on it. Or conceived to be exact. Ones that are capable of free will and thought. See, it has extensive knowledge and history on the universe these days. And due to this, we have numbered each and every planet with a certain number. And life was deemed intelligent enough to be considered an intelligent planet. My home world is number unlucky 13. <laughs> well, I guess it kind of fits. Milky Way Galaxy is considered a no travel zone, unless you're a double S class seed or triple S class. It's simply because, well, blame Hollywood. All those alien movies really didn't number on my people. They think all beings in the universe are ravage killing in death machines, or ravage killing freaking machines, or even add uh, ravage killing eating machines. E either one of the two or all three. I will mention this is why there are no travels though. For a lot of are in seed and even that of civilians in the universe. Mine and Ashi's home world is considered Erd, even though bringing with intelligent life, still young in its infancy. As well, y'all know the last time or any times. Supposedly, aliens were cult found out and a massive panic happened. I wonder if y'all knew there was other human life in the universe. Would there be a massive panic? Or would there be acceptance? Or maybe overall, y'all be like, we want to leave this planet? And even more so, want to cause trouble on another one. You see, this is why the Milky Way Galaxy is considered a no-travel zone. Even more so. As it's a no-travel zone, all of the universe, including that of Seed, intercepts all satellites outside of the Milky Way Galaxy and feed them false information, just so the rest of the cosmos can be at peace. We, uh... Don't want any trouble from you people. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, if you don't have to think about it too hard, if the local governments of Earth-13 found out that there was life in the cosmos, what do you think they would do? Go to peace? Go try to strike peace? Or go to freaking war? I mean, y'all have gone over war over, or like, we've gone over war actually over like, more stupid things. Like a pen being dropped on the floor or on an accident for signing a peace treaty, failing to sign a peace treaty, seen as a form of, that of insult. Heck, like somebody dropping a fork as well. Look it up. Stuff has happened. I think Team Four Star put it at his best with the heat tap commercial. Oh, they did for Dragon Ball. Come on, it's a heat tap. Killed for less. I know, right? People have killed for less and even more stupider reasons. Even for half a penny, somebody would put a cap in somebody's ass. 
messed up. My home world is messed up. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all found out actual life is it the universe of human life? We can only imagine the repercussions. This is why we keep it secret for the rest of you. Fair enough. But I am breaking the fourth wall to do this. So is this canon? Or is this universal theory? Or maybe it's just the ramblings of a soldier. Who knows? Going a little meta on you, aren't I? <laughs> but despite all this, Universal Galactic Festival of Peace is going to be happening. I must mention, Rachel Ohl and the rest of my team are on the planet as well. My team consists of me, Pi, me, Voltaire, Legretta Marjorie, Joey Rimbo, Iris Kramer. Or these days, her name is Iris Strider because she's married to Geo Strider. And still, I'm trying to get over the fact that Geo went behind my back and married my adopted sister. Obviously, you have the edge of my beloved in the seventh position, the eternal green dragon. Rachel, Dragonstorm. And then you have Ashi Williams. The Psychic Psycho Bitch. <laughs> In the 8th position, we are currently spread out across the planet. Right now, across various cities. As I'm here in the ball lamp, um, Rachel is over there in the timber. Ty's over the air in Galabadia. Geo and Iris is over there in Ethar. Lucky. And even in that, and in the small town outside of Galabadia, uh, Joey's there. Sometimes he's best working alone, but even and more so, Ashi's up there in the ball am with the masters. They're really dealing with their uh, a political chit chat. And you can probably hear her screaming it, her, her brain screaming right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, nah. No, she just sent me a psychic image. Uh. <laughs> uh, sorry, Ashe, can't help you there. You're the one that volunteered for that one. But despite the uh, festival of peace happening the same time as the 4th of July, I will mention a seed has a work schedule. Uh, a galactic work schedule, if you will, a galactic day and week type scenario. In a galactic day, we have that of 38 hours. We have 38 hours, meaning that uh, obviously we're awake for it for at least about 26 hours. And we get about uh, somewhere around 16 hours of sleep. You'll either have that of a psychotic episode, or more likely you just blow your brains out. I know I've had a couple of psychotic episodes while being on the job. And on the force. Um. Yeah. I, I find myself sane from time to time. But despite all that, you get used to it. Or you have a psychotic episode. Not easy. Not an easy job. You got 38 hour days and even more galactic days along with the edge of a nine week type thing. Nine days and one week. 38 hours. 
at least in the northern quadrant. East quadrant, you have that uh, 32 hour day with obviously an 80 day week. Quite interesting, huh? East Galaxy is pretty silent. They have about a six day week, obviously, with that uh, 26 hour or ship days in that quadrant. And over there, or uh, in the, the south, the west to the south, obviously. South to E, South Garden. Galaxy Gallium Garden. Literally has the uh, 30 day hour day with that uh, of an 11 day week where they're located. So, yeah. The South Gallium Garden. Galaxy Garden is constantly meant to err that A over the Milky Way galaxy as well. As I'm going to be frank, they're growing weary of it. But it's their job. If you ask me, they're a little bit too trigger happy in the South Galaxy Gallium Garden. Trying to blow up Earth and get it over with. They see all the shit that happens. They think to themselves, when, when can we blow up that planet? This little scar on the galactic universe. Yeah. Like I said, they're trigger happy. I, uh, all I can tell y'all is, like, straighten yourselves up. Or they literally just blow oh your load blow up your loads. Literally. Can't help y'all there. Even more so oh. Despite all that. It's supposed to be about the good times. But not the well political messed up. I want to talk about last night's Power World gameplay. I actually ran into an interesting item. I ran into that of a legendary, a obviously item of massive proportions. Uh, a manuscript of a obviously the map. For a legendary assault rifle. I'll be grinding to get the ingredients behind the scene for it, along with trying to find any more or powerful weapons. I also went to the new region. I didn't have a good time. If you saw Commander's Gamers logs on Twitter slash X, you know, and listen to it, you found out I had a bad high. I also found out, oh, like, the syndicate there, if you're not prepared, literally one shots you. They have, like, depending on the character of the syndicate, because, like, I've only found two, you have the basic foot soldiers, and then you have the advanced ones. Basic foot soldiers that are dashing, like, strike with their blade. Still one shots you, by the way, if you're not prepared. Or you don't dodge! Go on! Dodge! Fair enough. Gotta learn how to dodge in that game or jump out of the way of those blades. But even more so, the more powerful version of it, 13 Captain. Beware of this guy. Where's a kiss, kiss Una A mask and all that? It has two attack packs. Does a dash and cut forward, but if you're on a flying Palamon, if you're not high enough, it will do a horse cutter technique. It will jump up in the air and bring its sword coming down, meaning that it will do a horse cutter technique and it's really, really messed up. If I have any advice in the new update with these obviously threats, 
of the new syndicate. I have three strategies. Strategy one, do not engage until you have the new equipment. I repeat, do not engage unless you have the new equipment. Two, take shots from a high distance, from a cliff, or even um, that of somewhere where or obviously they can't hit you. Or, option three, find Palmon being higher up in the air than they can strike you with their blades. They do not carry weapons, such as guns, rocket launchers, or flamethrowers. Also, what I meant to mention that in this region, you can run into new items. You can run into grenade, obvious shots. You can run into ooh, that of, you know, flamethrower fuel that I found out. You can also, almost in every scrap pile where these are found, you can also run into gold keys. I ended up running into at least nine gold keys. In these scrap piles across the map, you find out that there's several items you can come across. Silver keys, gold keys, dog coins, obviously nails, pal spears, just basic things, or some of them are refined. I want to talk about the Mimic Chest, by the way, as I want to give you all a bit of a strategy of how to catch this thing. I noticed several weapons are not very good for the job. I still haven't caught one, but I have found the most effective weapon to try to keep the dog reduced by, reduce its hip. But if you reduce this, uh, overall mimic dog chest but down past 25% health by the way I will inform you it will disappear from the map merely one attack shooting it or hitting it with any attack causes it to run you also lose sight of it it will also disappear You need to have constant visual and an open space. If you don't have constant visual of it, it will disappear. If you reduce it by down past 25% health, the mimic dog chest will disappear. But what best weapon should you engage as Palmon? You're probably thinking probably something like, oh, maybe the rocket launcher or maybe that of the machine gun. I haven't gotten the rocket launcher yet, but I have gotten the meteor launcher. I took clip footage of it. You are going to find it out in my retrospective part two of, well, how it, how effective it is. I'm going to be renaming the Chokuma Update Retrospective, Chokuma Update Retrospective Part 1. It's going to be part one, as I think I need to do multiple parts to, come, um, to have a proper feel for the update. Probably two or three parts. So, yeah. Back on point. So, things like the rocket launcher may be a good idea, or at least the homing rocket launcher when you get it, I would highly suggest. Things I would highly suggest not to use. Any rifle, single shot rifle. The musket or the single shot rifle doesn't do enough. The assault rifle and the handguns are not enough of the deal with this thing. If you want to catch it, I would suggest a rocket launcher or even that of the shotgun. But not the normal variety, like double barrel shotgun, as I tested that and it did not cause the Palmon to flinch for a second shot. I would suggest the Assault Pump Action Shotgun. Going with a common, rare, or even epic version of the shotgun is your best bet to deal enough damage. Depending on the area you're at is where the level of this little dog chest will be at and how strong. 
I would highly suggest in one region to have that of not Mega Spears, not Giga Spears, but Hyper Spears for all the lower regions. It's got a higher quality to catch it in general. Anything above a Hyper Spear will be more successful. Engage it with a shotgun or a rocket launcher. I don't think the grenade launcher will be good enough. And I don't think the flamethrower will be either. You want to catch this thing? You're going to need the shotgun or one of the rocket launchers. I would highly suggest. But even more so, despite that. Always remember that this little mimic dog chest. Depending also on the level it's at. Is how many coins you get. If it's underneath level 20, more likely you're just going to get somewhere around on the basic quantity of underneath 10 doge coins. Or dog coins. For it. If you go with basically a one that has level 30, you're going to get somewhere around like 20 to 25 coins. And at Margaret. If you go with a obviously region that has around level 40, you're going to see somewhere around um like 28 for 33 dog coins brought from this thing rather than defeating it or capturing it. And next, bringing up obviously, what about around level 50? I have not found one around um, past level 40 or fi around 50 yet. Not even the new Shokuma region, I was able to find one. But I will admit, it'll be interesting when I do. Also, there's a huge power level gap in the new Shokuma region. If you have power world armor, as uncommon as I do, you'll still get one-shotted even with the hyper shield. I would highly suggest a more a rarer and more powerful version of the power world armor before going there, or one of the armors past level 50. I cannot stress this enough. If you go in there half cock, unprepared, and literally that of thinking you're the hottest shit in the game, you will literally get one shotted each and every mother freaking time. You will not have a good time, as I literally died four times over trying to get that of my equipment back 14 times over. I want multiple Palmon got knocked out because of this syndicate. They will one-shot you. There's also an Iron Giant. I am not kidding. There's a new Iron Giant Palmon located in a chasm on this map. It has a tornado move that will suck you back in close to it. Take that as you will. He's extremely hard to escape, but I escaped him. I had to use a grappling gun to climb back up the chasm, try to escape his anger. This guy's also got a high range of sight. If you're in it, he'll notice, even from above the chasm, below the chasm. If you're above the chasm, guess what? If he notices you, you're not going to have a good time. On this region, you also find out a lot of forestation. There's not only cherry blossoms, regular trees, weeping willows to be exact, but you also find giant mushrooms. These giant mushrooms can be farmed. There's two different uh, variants of the mushroom now. There's the regular edible mushroom, and there's one that uh, literally states, you eat it, you're gonna feel so high every day. That you're literally gonna uh, literally increase your hunger in a bad way. Because you're gonna be like, oh, okay, time to go to the fridge. I wonder what I'm gonna have. Am I gonna have chicken? Am I gonna have steak? Am I gonna have a hot dog? Well, I'm gonna have, fuck it, I'm gonna have all of it. That's how hungry your character gets. And it increases your hunger for a good stead while. If your hunger literally runs out, your health will drop to one over time. And, well, let's just say you had just had a bad high. 
I would highly suggest uh, it's not eating the blue shrooms. I don't know if they can be crafted into anything. All I know is they exist. In this new region, you also find several new areas. Uh, one, you have the cherry blossom area, but outside of it is a freaking graveyard. Do you know, like in those old Japanese horror movies, you walk into a forest and you find nothing but a whole bunch of old graves, Japanese graves? That's this forest. It's literally a forest of the dead. All right, everywhere. In this forest, you feel like you're not alone. You feel like you're being followed by the dead. I'm so glad they didn't add any creepy music, kind of like the thing from Lavender Town and Pokemon. I have to give Palmon credit for that one. You'll also find that big chasm where the giant robot's at. Palmon robot at that. You also find out there's a, a decent little like desert beach area. And then you have the mushroom fields. That literally just like is combined with a swamp area. Um that's a thing. This place has a serious level gap. If you do not have the new equipment or you don't have at least two weapons that are firearms that are legendary or epic, I would highly suggest not going there. High quality items are needed and equipment. You will not have a good time. I did explore the region, but... You... If y'all go there, like, cocky and, and, like, unprepared, like, I don't know what to tell you. Y'all, y'all have issues. In gaming, at least. Ah. So, I'm not gonna go there until I get, by a, uh, higher rarity armor of the, uh, Power World armor. Or even more so, ooh, get a higher level up and have more powerful equipment, such as firearms and even the, uh, to more higher stats. I'm currently working on my current Palmon team to enhance their stats through spirits, pal spirits. Right now, I have them all past the blue mark in attack, health, and defense. Uh, Y'all will see that Friday night, and the gameplay continue. I will mention, um, yeah, the new region is not for amateur. It is a high-powered region for a good uh, reason. They knew what they were doing when they made this region. They didn't want Scrubs to go there to get lucky. Even I had a hard time surviving with the equipment I have. Let alone getting all the stuff back and escaping. I did run into a couple of Palmon I were able to capture. That I'll show Friday night. After like, I come back from D&D. &D. But, despite all this, need to get into the gameplay soon. Lemon 05. Oh, allow me to bring it on up. Bring it on up. Mega Man Battle Network 2. Bring it on up. Mega Man Legacy Collection Volume 1. Bring it up. For all of you. Oh, yups. Alright, let's get started. Battle Network time. Let me put it into, let me, uh, ask the overall sounds folk to put it into the music. Oi! Cut out that music! I'm streaming! Thank you!
Let's get started. I think we're in the Magnet Man scenario if I'm remembering straight. Oh, we are. That way. That's a dead end. Power issue. I don't think we're getting any big time chips from this area. We're not strong enough. Unless we got that. I really don't care for this music. It's probably one of the weakest OSTs in this game, uh, Magna Man's theme. If you ask me, it can't go that way. By the way, be careful of the UFO virus. It steals your chips. Not just one of them. All of them. Okay, Bluefield gone. Man, this song's annoying. I really do not care for it. Triple delete. Electrical breath. Honestly, I think like that, like that electrical breath probably has a lemon scent. Lemony fish. A little bit of cash. Even though those things steal your chips, at least they don't use them against you. I think Capcom are having some level of mercy at least. What a shocking development. I'm bomb too. Ah, 
So we fixed the problem. Nani? No. There's a problem with the piloting program. Can't control all the rudder. We'll crash. Thank you, man. Quit piloting program. Roger. Roger, Roger. Did somebody call war experiment attack? Experiment or spare uh spare uh in and I screwed that pun up. Either go experiment or spirit less. Oh, that's better. I remember that one. Either go experiment or spirit less. Nice. Quick call. Ooh. Oi. Ooh. Nice. Let's go for a Cooper. Right now. Oh, you low down dirty rat. Little bomb. Somebody call for pest control? Somebody had spicy enchiladas? One of Cody's favorite snacks, by the way. Spicy enchiladas? Why did my pupper like spicy poop? I have no idea. And it's probably because of the fiery mane. Did somebody call for an electrician? Lamon. Oh, we gotta catch her in from that time. I'll take it. I really do not care for this type of stage. Not that way. No matter. I am not French. I repeat, I am not French. 
For all my I French cadets out there, it was a joke. Uh oh, that doesn't sound good at all. We don't need people throwing up in the cabins. Don't have a messy plane. Clean up on all five. In that case. Been dead. I wonder if that. Uh, Breath is full of thorns. Now I'm talking about Rupert Thorn either. <laughs> Y'all know what I just mentioned. Congratulations. You deserve a cookie. With your people claims. That's a lot of splinters. <laughs> Let's go. Bag bomb one. Can't go up from here. Mm-hmm. Rotten K. Okay. I don't, I don't. As high cannon C. That's taken care of.
Oh, okay, that's how. All right, let's go. And uh, let's see where we go next. Ah. All right. Hmm. Welcome anyone and everyone. As you know, I'm your beloved commander. They can command. <laughs> if you were here earlier, you saw the Galactic Layla Iron map, of course. If you missed out, you missed out. Don't know what to tell you. Been here earlier. But you'll be able to catch it on the rebound. After the live stream, I'll be uploading the uh, streams to YouTube at Seed Next Gen TV. This weekend on Sunday. I think we'll get through the Magna Man stage. Do a couple of the side quests. And we'll call it quits for the day. As I do have responsibilities to get uh, underway today. Hmm. Buster only. Let's see here. Okay. Dead by Buster. We have any power ups? No power up. Wanna be stronger.
Yep. Red. Technically, that like, comes off more like an orange. If you ask me. Not the hands, not home. Why the home? Alejandro, why the horns today? I can hear Kagi just like, ah, why did you even mention that? I I can hear his brain screaming right now. I bet entering Alejandro like that and he's like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> but that Okay, so A, B, C. I got this chat. It's no prep, no prep. Do a couple of updates though. This build has run its course. M O P.
Let's see if anything else can help us here. Go in there. Let me in, coach. Let me up. Let me up. I want him. I want to beat him down. I want to beat the magnet mine. Oh, look. It's the old part. Oh, you hate society? You hate society? Well, society hates you, old man. Time to put the old man in the casket. I deleted the money, and no one's gonna end it. <laughs> I love puns. I also love mixing them up. Nice. Welcome any and all to the stream. I'm your beloved commander, and I'm still streaming. We're going to complete the Magma Man scenario and do a couple of side quests. Calling it quits afterwards. Why does that guy give me two face vibes with that suit? I have no clue. I mean, he literally does. Freaking weird, cadets. Uh, Merlin Harbor. That's where we gotta go. We gotta incomplete those side missions. It's on the billboard. If there's any right now. Hills, yeah! Detective job. Let's go all Dick Tracy on these. Well, again, for someone, and if you can, and oh, on the ACDC town, I'm waiting in front of the squirrel. Except, yes. Squirrel? Reminds me of someone I once knew. He was a bit squirrely. But in a good way. Yet again, cadets, I hope y'all having a fabulous day, and I hope you're gonna have a beautiful 4th of July. Think it's this guy? Mmm. If I remember straight, he's in the Oaken area. I could be mistaken. Sus. The man big sus. Sussy little bucka. Find the sussy little bucka. Sauce. 
Let's report them back to the fuzz. Let's see here. Let's report them back to oh the sus police. Hey sus police. Is that one more of the twister? I I uh Twist your nipples. I should do a nipple twister on you, man. That chip's freaking worthless. Mm, let's see here. Okay. Aim. Back to the harbor. Next mission. Uh. Sell me a chip. I'm leaving the country on a trip. I need a strong chip. Can somebody sell me a catcher in? I'll pay in cash. I'm waiting at Dintown Airport. Oh, what do you know? We actually got one of those. Nice. What luck! Find this guy. Kids shouldn't be running in an airport. Hi there. Oh, he's the one who requests catcher in. Now that's a lot of moolah. I had that much money in my life. Let's try again for Zanny. <laughs> Let's see here. Help us re re recon. Help us recon. On what? I have a net. I have a because I argued. ACDC station. Don't worry. I got you, fam. I got you. I got you. Go ahead and well, I got you. I got your fam. No, it's not that guy. Okay, maybe. One in here. Okay. Back to the harbor. Quickest route to Young Land, to be honest. Or we just use Young Land Key. How intriguing. I wonder if we got the key for this area. Hold on. Now I wanna open if we did. Taking a long route, cadets. Hmm. Where could this scrub of a little nabby be? Ghost. 
I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Let's give him the good old feasting. Hmm. Oh, that's a net dealer. No satellite. Anything but a satellite. Why? All right, satellite did. Boy, what's that open the score? I think that's a satellite, Jim. What's a satellite, Ma? Thank you, I know. Uh, they're like peeping toms. Who's a peeping tom, Jim? Thank you, I don't know. I just hear things. Well, that's freaking redundant. Yep. Got another uh, bill? Hell yeah. Pop me off. This happened so unhinged and off topic. Don't know why. But I love it. Hi, Mega. Coincidence running into you here. Yup, it's quite nice and, and, and lovely here. You know, Roll does give off of this game like. A navvy that would love being in Yum Land. Just from her design alone, looks like she's developed in Yum Land. I mean, her design does fit with this map. I'm not gonna lie. Put a scratch on my shield. Put a dent in your butt. See me somewhere around here. Where were that leaves? Let's use this key. All oh, right, we need to be at the main hub. Never mind, that's useless. Maybe that Nami's somewhere around here. I haven't run into him anywhere else. Oh, there he is. You know, with this music, just the right area there, pal. 
Not gonna lie. Oddly enough, like, after this game, there's only some hints to Yumland, I think, in 3 and 4, but we never actually get to go to it again. Honestly, my thoughts on that? Ron, shame. I am shame. Mm. Fight crime. Tut. That's what I'm about to become Batman. A recently nasty Navi has been making trouble. He picks fights with ordinary Navities and even uses viruses. Now he's after me. I'm on the run. I can trust you about this. I'm waiting in a telephone somewhere in a house. Except the job. Ah, I think I know what phone it is. Time to make a call. See that? Now what is a classy phone? Can't find things like that anymore. Not these days. He's functioning. Unless you're some goddamn millionaire. With buko muko dollars. I don't have that. I did, though. Hey, okay. this. Is that the best you've got? Now we can unlock secret areas. You like it? That's still gospel shit. I'm wondering if we can take like the new exam. Let's find out. We come. All right, we're gonna take the test and then we're gonna call it a stream. Let him in! Let him in! Wash him away. Virus deletion a minute in three, two, one. Uh-oh. Man, get that noxious shit out of here.
Hans Ruba. And don't step on me. Sorry, ain't gonna be no shadow run today. Blow him away. Yo yo, yo no. Time to go fish. Here fishy fishy fishy. Here fishy. Uh oh. We got Snoop Dogg's pet in here. All my data. So we have the S class of Isons. All right. Oh, we can, we can. Born it. Ah, I screwed up. Where we're going for the minty li emmy, lemon combo. The shield is no match for my buster, idiot. Let's boil this toad. to get back to my uh, obviously protection detail here at the ball M station mercenary's work's never done mercenary response emergency response mercenary anyways I'm gonna have to get in contact with the rest of my team and on their positions and what they'd be doing I was going to go on to one, but I have, like, too many responsibilities right now to take care of everyone. Thank you, one and all, for joining me here on this live stream. Almost going on two hours. And so I have been commanded. Ben Lionheart, your beloved commander, seat next gen. Please like, subscribe, follow. Support us, you know, me and my girl, everyone's a part of this, or going to be a part of this, obviously. 
I will admit, it's been a pleasure. My uh, fellow cadets, ah, and out. Later. Whoa-ho! Hells yeah!